In this lesson, we're going to look at the relational operators, those operators that we use to make comparisons. So let's get started by opening up the Ruby shell. When we make comparisons, we're either comparing to see if two values are equal, not equal, less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, and perhaps even not equal to. There are several different ways to perform comparisons in Ruby. We'll look at both the traditional way using the standard relational operators, and we'll also look at a way using something called the general comparison operator. Let's start with the standard relational operators. The first relational operator is the equality operator, and that's double equal signs. So for example, if we write the expression 1 equal 1, that will return true because the value 1 is equal to the value 1. If we write on the other hand, 10 equal 1, we get a false value. Another relational operator is the less than operator. One less than two. That returns a true value. Twelve less than two, on the other hand, returns a false value because twelve is not less than two. We can also combine less than with equal to to get the less than or equal to operator. So for example, one less than equal to two is true and 1 less than equal to 1 is also 2 because 1 is equal to 1 even though it's not less than 1. So it's less than or equal to. We can also do the same comparisons with greater than. 2 greater than 1 returns true. 1 greater than 2 returns false. And then of course we also have greater than or equal to. Two greater than equal to 1 is true. 2 greater than equal to 2 is true. 2 greater than equal to 3 is false. Another way to perform comparisons is using what's called the general comparison operator. The general comparison operator will return negative 1, 0, 1, depending on whether or not the first operand is less than, equal to or greater than the second operand. So for example, 1 compared to 1 will return 0. So the general comparison operator is the less than sign, the equal sign, and the greater than sign. So equality returns a 0. 1 compared to 2 returns a negative 1 because 1 is less than 2. And 3 compared to 2 returns 1 because 3 is greater than 2. We could also use the relational operators on strings, of course. So apple equals apple returns true, whereas apple equals aardvark returns false. Case matters, so that comparison returns false because one word has a capital A, the other word has a lowercase a. We can also use the general comparison operator with strings. Returns a zero because bar is indeed equal to bar. Ba compared to bar returns negative one because if you go out to the third character, A is less than R. And that's how strings are compared, character by character. So in this particular example, the B's are equal, the first A's are equal, but the second A is less than the R, so ba is less than bar. And of course, you can also do greater than or less than comparisons with strings. Let's just look at a simple example. Bar is greater than apple because B is greater than A. And then we can reverse that. And that's also true because A is less than B. So those are the relational operators that are in common use in Ruby. There's a, another operator, the triple equal sign, that's used in only special cases. 
In fact, the statement it's used in is called a case statement, and we'll look at that later in the course when we get to case statements. But now I'd like to wrap this lesson up and move on to the next lesson where we're going to talk about logical operators where we combine relational statements using and or or and perhaps not to yield Boolean values.